dark matter. We talked about lost knowledge. Most of our universe is invisible, not literally. We know that galaxies have far more mass than the stars that emit light. And we know this because the galaxies are spinning so fast that they would fly apart unless there was more mass present than what we see. And because there is more mass, we can infer from the gravitational effects that there must be something invisible there. Now, maybe there's something invisible holding our society together in the exact same way. A spinning galaxy. <laughs> Intellectual dark matter. I think, I think we are standing on a large tower of intellectual dark matter, and some of the dark matter has been lost for good, and some of it is still with us. And sometimes, unfortunately, I think we're living on the fumes of institutions that remain on autopilot, but the knowledge has been lost. Intellectual dark matter is a concept that as far as I can tell, uh, I've only come up with. It's the observation that even if we cannot investigate the knowledge directly, we can ascertain the knowledge exists, just as the invisible mass can be detected through its gravitational effects. A very simple example of this is basically ancient Greek literature. I said, you know, 15% of matter in the universe is visible and detectable, or so currently physics says. 13% of known Greek authors, this is ancient Greek authors who we have a name for, whose name is referenced, but we only have 13% of those works. So out of 2,000 known ancient Greek writers, we have 13%. What about the ones we don't know? And you might be thinking 13% is pretty good, but actually we only have a smaller fragment of complete works. And by the way, this number would count Aristotle. And we've lost Aristotle's book on economics. We only had his book on politics. You, want, you know the one at the start? And remember our symbol of authority, intellectual and political, the one with the pillars and the American flags? The American flags are new, the pillars are old, and the pillars were held up by something we just don't understand.